Okay, here's my Netflix queue. And I'm going to select the movies that I want to put in my queue. Add to instant queue. Select a second title. Uh, let's see, I'll take this movie. Okay. Now that the queue has some items in it, we'll go to the audio mixer board, which you can see the LEDs light up when there's audio activity, and I've taken the signal from the lowest of the diode and ran it out of the back of the unit. Here's the back of the Samsung 3600. You can see I've got the component running down to the input of the Magnavox DVD recorder. Now I could record directly on that into a DVD, but I'm using the S output going into the computer so I can edit more easily. Here's the remote control with the macro function. I've taken the macro key and ran a wire out so I can have the computer hit the macro key on command through the interface, which is quite simple, running out of the printer port into a uh, Optio uh, electric coupler and you can see the front of the unit here uh, as well as the parallel 25 pin D connector which I've taken a couple pins out uh, to control the input and output functions of the computer. Here's the uh, C program that basically pulls the input, sees if there's activity uh, through the audio circuitry. Uh, if there is no deflection on the VU meter, the LEDs don't light, and it starts counting down to the point where it will send a command. If there is audio, then of course it resets the counter and tries to count again at the point where it goes silent. So here you can see the counter and also the input variables that uh, I'm reading off the printer port don't really need to worry about all this. It's uh, going to be able to control the player um, when there's no uh, activity to get it to go on to the next movie, as in that it has ended or stalled, and uh, we will go on and play the next movie. Here you can see we start up. Um, we're using the S video connection for the, the best, poly, uh, best quality into the computer. The resolution uh, goes out of range of the card initially, but uh, since it's automated by the computer, it wouldn't be uh, of any need of watching the screen anyway. It'll go ahead and send the pre-programmed commands that I've entered into the macro function of the remote control. So uh, here you see it says no signal just because it can't lock onto the signal at this point, although it's beginning to lock on. Now you see we sort of have two images on there, so it's still not in the appropriate mode uh, to do much, but uh, as you can see, as you can recognize, it's probably uh, uh, soon here to uh, get to the point to start playing the movie and we're almost there okay now the movie will start and the player will be able to just lock in to the correct screen resolution and record to drive Now that uh, the movie has ended, 
uh, it goes back to the next or to the uh, item in the queue uh, we do have to have in our macro the right arrow to get it to toggle on to the next one when it detects the silence which we'll hear in a minute um, I had to have it long enough that it wouldn't uh, prematurely jump to the next movie when tell there was certain that it was done and there was no more audio uh, view deflection so here again uh, the second time around it doesn't uh, seem to be changing video resolutions it just uh, goes ahead and loads like you would expect it to and plays the following movie and of course this will continue until the queue is empty, um, which is 10 movies at a time. So basically, 10 at a time is the limit. Now we're going to go to the converter program, totally, total video uh, converter, and we're going to enter in our MPEG, which is the re uh, type of file that we recorded with and we're going to convert it to a YouTube format FLV I'm gonna set the resolution up to 480 by 360 to give me a small file size to allow the TCIP transport uh, to work efficiently with uh, the speeds that I get here over the internet uh, and also keep a decent picture resolution so while that converts we'll go ahead and go to our online player written in flash I'll maximize the thing and you can see the resolution is pretty good I'm using a camera right now to film it uh, I will go here to a clip that'll be directly imported into my movie without the use of a camera so you get a better ch idea of what the the true resolution is now be aware that it's forbidden to copy movies unless you're doing it under fair use provisions uh, this is obviously only for educational purposes. I do not condone any theft of any type and certainly not responsible for any actions that you might take.